Hey, what's going on, everybody? Game user here. I'm going to show you how to set up your uh, surround sound speakers if you got like a 5.1 or 7.1, and uh, how you can use that on YouTube with uh, Google Chrome. Um, so this is something that's kind of annoying and kind of tricky, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through it, and maybe you'll be able to watch some of your videos with all of your speakers. So, anyways, let's just jump into it. Um, so first, obviously, make sure that uh, your speakers are properly plugged into the right ports in the back of the computer. And uh, if you're pretty sure you got everything set up, what we're going to do now is we're going to double check that with Windows. I'm running Windows 10 64-bit here. And uh, I need you to pull up a menu for me. Now, there's two ways you can do it. You can find your actual speakers icon. Uh, some of you may have two. You see I got two because I have an audio driver and it shows a speaker. You don't want to right click that one. You want to find the actual one that comes on Windows. So like the speaker one here, you're going to right click and you're going to select playback devices. And you're going to get this menu here. Now um, if for some reason your icon's not down there, don't worry. Here's an, I'm going to show you one more way you can get the same menu. So you're going to pull up your bar here, whatever menu style you have, and you're going to do a search. And you're just going to search for sounds or excuse me, just sound, just type in just sound and you'll get that menu up there, the little icon. So you're going to hit enter, get the same menu. So uh, now that you got this picked up here, um, you'll see your speakers here. It should say, um, like right now it's showing my headset, but otherwise it should say just like my uh, Realtek speakers. And what you're going to do is uh, you're going to highlight it and you're going to make sure it has a green check. Uh, it needs to be your default device so um, your main speaker should be your default device if that's true which it should be if you're getting sound um, then you're gonna go to configure and uh, configure them and it may show you a list like um, 2D uh, two-dimensional uh, 5.1 7.1 quadra phonics or something like that um, just pick whatever your setup is which in most cases is gonna be 5.1 or 7.1 and it's gonna do a test for you. You can run a test on it. <coughs> Excuse me. And your speakers will show up here. And what's really cool about this is you can click on these, like where your speakers are supposed to be in your room, and it will send a sound signal to that speaker. Um, and you can, you know, go specifically listen to like just this back left one. See that? Or just this back right one. And when you get them all good this test when it plays through them should pass flawlessly so <clears throat> anyways uh, it'll run through all that and you'll hit next 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 okay and you're good to go um, another thing you can do is you can actually right click and go to properties and I don't know if it'll show to my headset like it does for my speakers you may have to click on a, a different one but there's some effects that you should also enable see here if I can find it this one should show it I guess it won't show me unless they're plugged in but anyways there's some effects that you also need to enable um, that I would recommend and one is speaker fill and then uh, what's the other one there's another one that'll make them play a little louder I can't remember off the top of my head but make sure you enable speaker fill um, as well and all you got to do is just right click your speaker setup properties and then up here there will be one that says enhancements and uh, just check a little box called speaker fill and hit OK and what that will do is it will help to um, ensure that if you're listening to something that's not surround sound it can at least um, try to push audio through those speakers um, at least you know and like imitate the same sound that's coming out the fronts out the back so at the very minimum you should at least get sound Okay, so um, at this point, if you've if you've done everything and everything is working, if Windows just not with Google Chrome, then you're on the on a good step. So that means that um, your speakers are hooked up correctly. Windows knows exactly what your setup is now. It knows it whether you got 5.1 or 7.1 or whatever, and um, it's Windows is doing its job now because you passed the sound test, like the sound played through and everything was good. So now your issue isn't your speakers or windows, your issue is getting Google Chrome to um, play with surround sound. And um, I don't know if anybody is like me and you like to listen to YouTube a lot, 
I like all my speakers to engage. I don't want just two speakers. I think that's just so annoying. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, a way to get Google Chrome to uh, want to activate your other speakers. And uh, if you've done everything I've said so far, you're on the right path. So let's go. Um, I got a little cheat sheet here that I wrote so I don't forget stuff. Now, the first method I'm going to show you should work for most of you. You're going to go to this here, which is this address here. I'm going to leave it in the link below. It's Chrome dash dash flags. So copy. I'm going to open my Google Chrome. I'm going to paste it and go up here. And it'll take you to this here. And it's like a hidden menu for your Google Chrome uh, settings. And you'll see it has a lot of stuff that says enable, disable. Now at the very top, the search bar is I just want you to type in try try and you'll see that uh, this pops up it says causes audio output streams to check if channel layouts other than the default hardware layout are available and you want to and you want to enable so you go ahead and enable it and you'll see here it also says try supported channel layouts and uh, that will be uh, that'll be good for you because uh, that, that's the whole goal here is you're trying to get Chrome to try other audio layouts besides just right and left. You know, you want it to do surround if it can, if possible. So once you enable this, then all you have to do is head over to YouTube and uh, just test out some uh, some different videos, some different songs and stuff on there. Don't test it out with just one because... Um, um, I was listening to some music and I did notice some songs that I went through, like some techno songs, they would not play with all my speakers, but a lot of them did. And this made me really happy because um, I got all these speakers in here and I'm not able to use them on uh, YouTube, which is really annoying. So um, just doing that one thing there really uh, fixed a lot of my issues with my surround sound on, my, on, uh, on the internet. And a lot of other stuff that I look up on Facebook or whatever is using all my speakers now. So um, for me, this worked great um, right away. Now, there are a couple other methods if this doesn't work for you, which it really should um, just work just like that. Now, there's some other methods that I picked up from other YouTubers that did not work for me when I was trying to figure this all out on my own. But I'm going to go ahead and share those with you, too. Um, so these are the kind of the more complicated um, methods here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and show them to you anyways because they might help you out. So whatever. And I, all these links I'm going to post in the description, so don't worry. Um, so again, uh, when you do do this and you get your sound working and you're testing it out on YouTube, just be sure that you test it out um, with some different stuff on YouTube you know, to, to ensure it's working for you. But it should work. Um, also, if you have iTunes on your PC, that should engage all your speakers automatically. iTunes. Um... If you go to Dolby's website here, I'm going to also show you another cool little trick here. Um, copy that. And then I'll show you the last couple of steps. They're really boring, so I'm, I'm kind of saving that for last. I really hope you guys don't have to do them. But anyways, this link here takes you to uh, Dolby's website. And it's really cool. You just, for when if you're on Windows anyways, you just put in your speaker setup here between 5.1 and 9.1. So like, for example, if you got, you know, 5.1 or 7.1, whatever it is, you just click on it and it'll download a uh, surround sound video for you. And it's really cool. It's like some birds flying through a forest and you can hear them, you know, like going around you. And uh, it's it's a really good way to really test your setup after you've got it all running uh, set up with Windows correctly. Um, so that's just something I wanted to throw in there for you guys. Okay, so even if you've... Uh, done all those steps and uh, it's still not working for you we got a few more things you can try we're gonna go to these up here um, none of these have worked for me in my experience but some people have had some luck with them so I threw it in the video um, so it's pretty easy you're gonna see I have some code up here I have a code piece of code up here 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 and here and it's just basically like a little strip that's gonna tell it to use more audio sources. So remember how when we enabled that setting in Google Chrome, it said this right here, try supported channel layouts. This is another way to kind of enable that setting. 
and uh, see if it will work. So um, what you're going to do, you're going to try these different ones, all four of these, one, two, three, or four. So how you do it is you're just going to come over to your Google Chrome icon, right click it, you're going to hit properties, and uh, you'll see over here where it says uh, target. Um, I can't remember if you copy it in the start in or target in area, but one of these two, I'm pretty sure it's target in. You're going to click on it and you're going to scroll all the way to the right. And then you're going to do space and you're going to paste this one in. So you would paste this in here. Make sure you got your space in there. It's kind of hard to tell. And then you would apply it and hit OK and test it. If nothing changed, you're going to try the next piece of code, the force wave, try supported channel layouts, the disable, resampler. Um, <clears throat> now, every time you do this, you may need to restart uh, after each one, which can make this really tedious. And I also don't remember if it's supposed to go in the target box or the start in box, so unfortunately, I, I just don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's in the target box is what everybody was doing. Um, you'll see a lot of people on YouTube are showing that tutorial. But personally, the, the only one that worked for me was just literally this one right here. Just go into Chrome, you know, get that link in there, and then just go to the search bar, type in try, and just enable try supported channel layouts through Chrome browser. And that worked best for me. So anyways, uh, this is just something that I was messing around with. And it ended up working great for me, so hopefully it can help some of you guys out there, because you know how software is. It's really buggy, so some things work for some people and not for others. So I'm um, just trying to share some advice with you guys. Hopefully one of these will get your speakers going for you so you can sit and enjoy some YouTube or whatever it is you're doing. And uh, anyways, guys, that's my little guide there. Hopefully it helps some of you out. I'm going to put all these little links in the description so that um, you don't have to type it out or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, so there you have it. Hopefully something helps you guys out. And uh, in the next one, subscribe, all that stuff if you like. And I'll catch you later. Bye.